so the the plan is that we're gonna have three positions each person has to analyze so it's not guess the elo it's guess the evaluation and i purposely picked like tricky positions that look equal in material or close to equal in material and the evaluation is not or it looks like tactics are flying around the board who knows what's what the heck the evaluation is so we'll see you in like three or four minutes and good luck to uh your evaluation skills yeah you too you too Steve. all right okay so here are my thoughts slash my community's thoughts um initially just aesthetically we're assessing the position it's equal material we got a queen a rook and a minor piece for both sides we have five pawns for, for both sides but if you look at a couple of different things um like the pawn structure like white has split pawns all over the place they have four different or i guess well practically speaking like four different pawn, pawn islands right and a5 and d4 are both very loose so you look at um how you're going to defend that but also how is black going to actually capture those pieces well the queen and the rook are, are tied to each other on b4 and f8 and we have to look at ways to untangle um but at the same time white's also threatening to you know that, that's somehow like break through with the f, f6 pawn right uh but it just seems like there's no real good way to do it because uh bishop d6 is a great resource for black so mm -hmm. Um, white could, I was looking at like rook a1, rook c1, different options, but the best and most tricky line maybe looks like rook c1, bishop d6, and then uh, queen d2 is a huge, huge threat. And I just didn't see any sort of resource for white to defend this. Uh, de well, and to defend queen d2 and queen takes a5 at the same time. So with, you know, past pawns or connected past pawns either on the a and b file or the d and e file, I think that this position is like minus six, which might be a little aggressive, but I think it's totally winning. Maybe the engine is like, no, like we can defend this a lot more practically than a 1500 player could, but I, I we're locking it in at minus six. Okay, I feel like I'm an evil <laughs> to give me this position. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. I'm like listening to you I'm like oh god he's saying everything so correct can I take like what you said is so correct I would and that's why I choose this one I wanted you to go to the wrong direction I'm sorry for that I don't know like <laughs> this is not the good start <laughs> I would agree with all of this if I were uh also not seeing the the, the 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 engine actually but the mm -hmm. thing is that i gave you this position and even asked the wrong question so this position with active queen pawn here exposed king pawn is hanging and the move like this is so hard to find um but then i answered you wrong here i wanted to say with the white because this is the only move black can keep the position together other right. moves like king e8 or any other move queen f8 is so bad white is winning uh like plus something um not not too much but this is the only move here but anyways after rook to f8 what you what you said and also in the game it happened that white was a little bit passive and like the rest of the moves were just like so natural and um yeah, black just won, started to pick up the pawns. So here at this point, do you want to hear what is the evaluation? Yeah, d give us, do the damage now, break break the news. <laughs> you play according to the engine, Stockfish11 on chess.com, h4, and the zero, zero, zero. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I knew I should have gone close to the zeros, but I, I, I'm going to be honest, like, I kind of completely blanked out the entire H file. <laughs> like, I didn't even talk about how white has already has a passed pawn. Yeah. <laughs> so that, yeah. Makes, that makes more sense, but it's still crazy, like, black's still not in time. Yeah, the thing is that um, uh, the, now, if you start to go for this pawn the problem is this rook right you cannot yeah. get this queen out of from b4 square 
and rookies um, uh, just rookies also struggling to guard this. And if you fall this pawn, then this will be checked, and so on and so on. We have really good uh, advantage here as knight is really passive and cannot get into the game very fast. So here, what you said, bishop d6 is the move here next move you guessed it right and when i was listening to you i'm like oh my god he's so correct and i'm so i will <laughs> but the thing is that you are guarding with their bishop to their the, the rook and you are somehow stopping the actions because white is pushing the pawn white you can't really stop this uh happening right uh but mm -hmm. with the bishop d6 you are free you're freeing your queen now and your queen will start to annoy the knight and the pawn and there can be some kind of um, the ideas to get this queen here and on the dark squares don't really remember like how we did that either here or even queen d6 is possible now to get something here so there is some compensation but white had to play h4 not h6 like in the game h3 because this is a passive move you're you not creating anything with that uh and black just started to annoy a white king and mm. this was just a blunder right because also in this kind of situations you don't really understand how to how to play you can guard this pawn uh, with the rook because knight is hanging you don't want to play the same move again as you played knight f4 right right next move because you think that your opponent will repeat the moves and you are starting to blunder the things here and this was a, just a pure blunder of two ways like first here and another here so right. um yeah <laughs> Wait, so the value situation was zero zero, right? Zero zero zero. Okay. Do you want to check maybe with the uh, with the engine? I mean, Could I, do that? I, I I trust you, but with wait. This one? Oh no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the engine had to think about it. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. Okay, well let's. Uh, do you want to see how you evaluate the position? I can put the full game. Well, actually, I'll put the full game in after you. Yeah, after yeah, you yeah. Present. Okay. Yeah. So we started a little bit like from, like I don't see the whole game, but we started from here. I saw this mark that gives a good move here. Another mark also move queen d3, good move here. So next move is pretty much like force because this and this, yeah, they are hanging and you have to take and you have to take. So basically after two very strong moves, white is the one who is winning here. Uh, and it's it's not equal, probably it's winning. Uh, so here we have like two, two suggestions. Uh, Chad says queen m5, queen g4, and try to checkmate. Uh, and they have very nice idea, like after this, this. Oh. Oh. Okay. So here oh, our right. suggestion was to give this check. Oh. Okay, so give this check, where do you want the king to go? Does it matter? yeah okay good point and then okay yeah maybe it matters but the thing is like when we get this king back on h6 now we are getting the rook here and we're trying to check my next move but there's rook g7 i just saw it <laughs> anyway this is one suggestion another suggestion is a rook like this was my first thought rook e6 here uh and the queen is sort of like trapped if you play rook uh, uh, bishop d6 we're gonna take take queen g3 we are getting this rook um and uh the thing is that after this one you're probably gonna play this uh queen a7 and then takes takes queen g3 and we have very similar position but with the rook on e6 and on top of all these checkmate threats you have rook f6 checkmate threats but chat says that after rook e6 uh, computer we suggest to take this rook and here in this position we will go with plus 9 to 12 I have to say one number right 9 12 <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what number are you choosing <laughs> I said 12 uh, 12 as much as possible alright that's, that's, that's way too good that is just like like you literally hit it on the head. Like it's it's it, I think it's twelve. Like on the dot. Oh, queen g five. Queen f five happened. Yeah. So it was queen f five. Yeah. And Fabi ended up taking on g three. It was this whole sequence that you're outlining. 
Oh, nice. Whoa. Uh, but is this a checkmate in few moves? Yeah, mate in 10, but in the end, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And after Queen H3, I think Fabi saw the writing on the wall. Yeah. So you win okay. round one. Like, just because okay. I got the move right doesn't mean that... It doesn't mean anything. Okay, okay, okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> Uh, so this is very tough position to be honest. Uh, it's a check and the knight is hanging. So the first thing that we were thinking was to capture it, but the rook is hanging there and very quickly we just drop it. So king g8 is the move we're considering here. And after king g8, we were looking mainly two moves. Uh, we were looking queen c8 to attack the knight and rook to e1. Uh, after queen to c8, knight is hanging, and now black can play their queen e7 or take on e6. And basically, we don't see much of the continuation after this with white. Probably it's like equalish in that po at that point. Um, so if king g8 here and rook e1, I like this move more because we are waiting. If black captures, we capture, and now black has to sacrifice either queen or rook, and it's good position. Also, after rook e1, um, here, uh, knight cannot move, uh, rook is stuck there, king is stuck there, like, it seems very good position, but we don't really know what happens after d4. Oh, knight d4 happens. Just hold it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, well, <laughs> then queen d4 can happen. And after taking here, king g7, Queen is hanging, F2 is hanging, Rook is hanging. So we're thinking this is equal position and it's zero, zero, zero. You want to turn the evaluation on? Yeah, no, yeah, let's go. All right, drum roll. Uh, I think you have control over the evaluation. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, where is it? <laughs> is it black? <laughs> right. Just want to draw it out. Um. Ah! No! No! No, no, no! Oh my god. <laughs> Good job. Good job. You, Whoa. You, this is uh <laughs> this is the professional the professional coming in and, and cleaning house here. This is just absolute uh, destruction. Uh. <laughs> Whoa. I'm like, yeah. should I go and play lottery? Cause like recently I'm I'm losing everything in my life and today's the only day I'm I'm getting something. Keddy, this is not luck. This is all skill. This is skill that you have that I apparently do not. <laughs> Wait, whoa, this is zero zero zero. Can we see some lines if we were like Yeah, so you're right. <laughs> it, it, if the knight's taken, it's complete it's just catastrophic. Yeah. I mean the king's just getting hunted. Um and yeah, not not so good. I mean, you just drop everything. Uh, if king g8, which is the critical line, uh, I think rook e1, like you were saying, started piling up pressure. The I mean, you can't really ever take the knight. Uh, the the move that the only move in this position is h6. I'm not even going to pretend like I understand h6. Wow, but that's nice. What actually happened in the game was uh. D4, big blunder, not big blunder, but it's blunder. And after mm. uh, queen to C8, C8, that's the big threat. Mm. F6, E, and who takes E6. Yeah, oh yeah, sorry. Uh, queen E7, then king F1. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I think everything's just paralyzed. Well, king honestly, we were looking for this line. I didn't see, I didn't see king F1 there. Wow. Uh, yeah, black actually does promote the the teapot. <laughs> That's how crazy this game gets. Whoa, there's another queen. Hold on. Yeah, yeah this is Holy Fan because it was her birthday a couple days ago. So I I was looking through all her games, and I um... I was just like, this is so chaotic. I can't even make a video about it because I don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet. Th this was a game she played in 2023. Isn't that crazy? I thought she was like retired for good. Wow. No, she she played some online. Is it online tournament or it's like in China? Uh, it was in China. China. She played some 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 events. Now I think. 
but she's also uh, considered to one day to maybe even come back so i think she's I, clearly <laughs> she's still in super sharp because this game was all sorts of chaos i thought like when people are like of the professional chess and playing at this high level that she's playing i thought that she would be like um not getting uh, uh sh she would get eliminated very fast from uh, i think it was just on chesscom we had this uh women's speed chess championship uh mm. for two years she was totally dominating and you might think that she doesn't follow this like uh lines and the openings and she was really good at that too like really good <laughs> and really sharp like <laughs> and that matters a lot in in speed chess because you don't have much time yeah. to like waste in the opening yeah yeah and she was like extremely sharp uh and now okay you ready <laughs> i'm i'm ready um let's see let's go to the other game so i looked okay. at this we got a b3 cowboy over here uh, playing with, with the white pieces right and there's not much to analyze <laughs> it's just if this e4 push is good or bad and i was thinking okay they can take they can even like push or they can move back Moving back, I mean, you, you, Whites get, got the center, or they, they, they accomplished what they wanted with E4. So like, I don't really think moving back does a whole lot. Um, pushing uh, didn't look really good because, I mean, White ends up getting a pawn and should, I think, be able to hold on to the pawn. So I was like, okay, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It, it looks a little messy, but it's like, eh, what's the point? Um, so the most, what made the most sense was probably just taking and when you do the basic counting right like you, you gotta do math every now and then in, in chess and you're like one two three versus one two well e4 loses the pawn right so it's trying to figure out if there's compensation because a lot of times when like sometimes you, you push a pawn and it's like well uh, you know grandmasters do it all the time they, they give a pawn away but it's better for them or or it's equal so you know after you push takes uh, I mean, you could just take all this and oop, take all this and oop. <laughs> I don't know why it keeps changing, but okay. Uh, okay, you can just take all this and yeah. uh, sure, the, the e pawn is actually loose. So then I was like, okay, I can't just stop evaluating here. Queen takes d1 and queen takes d8. Like, uh, like there's not really any independent value just yet. Um, so, so just after like takes, 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 for example, if you just try and take and then take this pawn, well, rook c1, and I mean, you're losing your pawn. Also, this looks really good for white because then white's on the seventh rank. So that doesn't really feel like that has any sort of big change. Although now that I'm thinking about it, maybe, no, no. I mean, there's all sorts of different transpositions, but like at the end of the day, that doesn't really seem good for black. So it's kind of just like, um, Instead of that in-between move, it's like, okay, well, we have to analyze this position. It seems pretty equal. I don't know. Like, I feel like you're playing mind games. <laughs> and and uh, it's okay. like, I, I was looking, I was like, okay, maybe this is theory. And there's some sort of like, some sort of tactics that, that's going to be plus three or minus three for one side or the other. But then, Keti, you, you sent me the, the ELO of the players, and I see that it's a 700 rated player versus 800. And I was like, okay, there's no way E4 is theory. I think this is just a, a lost pawn or or just a worst case equal. Because, the you know, both both E pawns end up being loose. So I'm, I am either going to say 0, 0, or somewhere between that and like minus 0.5. Yeah, can I show you the a line before I tell you the evaluation? Yeah, am I just so far off on that? <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Uh, the first first thought was like, I'm gonna give him this position, and like after B3, what's the evaluation here? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... And then S3 was here earlier in the chat, and they had such a big think with Adiban b3 g3 i was like maybe chat was like she will not be happy with that so she is a very good friend of mine we passed it and also this gives uh minus zero something very small and i i was like he can guess this so the i was like i'm not sure if i can guess the position myself uh because right. it was like really really uh complicated uh after all 
So next was this movie four, and um, mm -hmm. the thing is that I, I went to this uh, same 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 line as you went. The pawn is hanging uh, with uh, four uh, three pieces, so you're losing this one. But then white can get this one. Everything is trading, and it seems like we are going to go to the like equal equalish game. Um, so. Um, the thing is here, I'm gonna show you the thing, the best move here with like all these three candidate moves exist here, they are right, one of them are the most right, but here's move bishop b4 and this is the greatest move and because of this move, evil bar goes up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. So the um, thing is um, that you are giving up the bishop, d4 is a threat. Um, right. and like what 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 would you play like a3 now you can take 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 here and the knight can take and you're getting here a lot of things so the thing is that after here taking on uh, f5 you're playing uh, d4 mm -hmm. uh, and you want to take here with the with the pawn get this bishop here on c1 and this gives like huge advantage you can castle queen d7 the pawn is almost gone here only move is this one a3 uh, black anyway takes takes and a retreats Bishop, I think, on c5, and this is big advantage here because this pawn stops <laughs> everything. Black needs to, yeah. white needs to develop, and as I said, this and this is hanging. So uh, let me check. I don't remember it was more than you said, but let's check but, it together. Like it's so much easier <laughs> for Black to develop in that last position. Yeah, I think your chat was right. Minus one. <laughs> the thing is that uh, myself, I never really evaluate this. I, like never use this engine to evaluate my own games uh mm. because like when i was checking the text it was less like um it shows now you can see it shows now minus 1.4 and earlier bishop d4 was more than this so it's like i think we need to give here some time but yeah it's even it. it takes d takes e4 is uh, is the move that we can consider here yeah, but... oh, actually, when you suggested uh, d4 here, I thought that you were going here in this line because it transposes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I thought like, oh, oh, oh no, he's guessing it. <laughs> 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 and they were like, but you don't worry, you already have this zero, zero, zero. You are, you are already fine. Um... Yes, <laughs> we have clubs here. <laughs> yep. We are so ready. We are so ready. We are so ready. Hold on, guys. We have some nice music. So let's go. Let's see if you're gonna dance. <laughs> he's nervous. He is nervous. Why he's nervous? He's <laughs> I'm going with with your puzzle, okay? Because mm -hmm. it is obviously a puzzle, and <laughs> we went to that direction. Actually, that it's like a lot of checks, 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 and checkmates there. So, so it's Wait, it's a imagine. it's a game that I played. Ooh, nice, nice! Yes. Wow, nice! So, and you won it. I'm, I'm not disclosing that. Most. Is this? My best games with Turok Sacrifice. We'll see. We'll see. I'll tell you after you guess the evaluation. Or I can tell okay. you now. I don't know. Uh, no, I'll tell you after. I'll tell you after. <laughs> okay. Um, so the thing is that uh, the whole game, starting from the beginning, I saw it. I had some time. The game is really short. I saw this was a preparation and Black felt for this attack. Uh, and... White got a lot here in this position, and after a queen a5, White did not even bother to guard this pawn, which was possible to gather this pawn. Uh, and White still has very big advantage in there. So you played rook to e1. Was it a blitz? It's, it's not a blitz game. I think it's a rapid game because you were thinking, or it's a blitz game. It was a blitz game. Okay, you you calculated it was. <laughs> yeah. You are giving up the pawn. And there's a threat of checkmate, so basically you're not going to make any any slow moves. 
Here we have two moves, rook e7 and bishop b4. I like both of them, but to me bishop b4 is a bit slow move because it's not a check, but it's a threat. So rook e7, if this is working, this can be a checkmate, and there are like several lines where it's a checkmate, like let's say takes, takes, um, bishop g5 uh, here, if king goes on d6, there's a checkmate here, um, and if king goes here, then uh, we were considering to give up another rook here at this point and then checkmate here with bishop g6. We're not afraid of check because it's just one check. We're going here and there's no more check. Like you can, of course, give up a queen, but there's not a big deal with that. So after this move here, black has to give up some big material. And if, uh, even after that, probably there is a checkmate in few moves because then rook also gets into the game. Um, so, but here... Um, yeah, yeah, this is clear. But here, if king goes on d8, uh, probably this is not a straightforward line. I'm thinking bishop g5 anyway to give the square for the king and then prepare the uh, discovery check here. If, if king runs, we are just taking the rook and we're happy, uh, bishop, and we're happy there. Uh, so this is going to be a bit harder to evaluate this position. I think this is winning for white and it can be plus a lot, a lot. And... After this one, if king takes, it's gonna be a checkmate in uh, three, five, two, six, seven moves. <laughs> so you want me to evaluate which position? After queen takes a two. Okay, you're not giving me the answer. So I think rookie <laughs> seven is the move uh, and probably engine is not taking it with the king. I would go plus um, I want to say like 50 60 but maybe that's too much but I'm not like I, I just realized it. I would go with that plus 20 would you like to turn the evaluation bar on 50. yeah okay evaluation well you have to go after queen takes a2 right Wait, wait, you have to go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, this, this is after king takes e2, e7. You have to go back to queen takes a2. Don't drop. Don't drop. <laughs> I tell you not to drop. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh, no. Seven. Only seven. Let me show you the full game just so you can uh, see how it went. <laughs> You lost? Spoilers. Wait. I, uh, yeah, I couldn't find all those calculations oh, <laughs> in time. It hurts. Oh my god, it hardened me so much. Like, I. By the way, none of this was prep. I was just like, this was like the last game I played before going to bed one time. And I wasn't yeah. thinking, I was just throwing everything, like, H4 was just like, alright, let's just do this. And, uh, yeah, and... There was a preparation. No, oh no, no preparation. <laughs> no preparation, and it was all, like, let's, let's just, like, sacrifice everything. Like, trying to calculate, but I'm also, like, half snoring and sleeping, and it's like, oh, let's we'll just sacrifice it. So the first thing that I noticed is that there's discoveries galore. Every every which way there's discoveries. So free knight, yes, yes, we win a free knight. No, you don't. You uh, king takes or knight takes, whatever which way, uh, you lose your queen for two minors. Not really worth it. So another option is if you just make a random move. Obviously, it's the same idea to lose the queen this way. So that's like the first thing to notice is okay. White's pieces are really set up for tactics. How do we defend? Um, the other thing I noticed after going through like the whole game, I was like, oh wait, like, um, no, oops. I was like, oh wait, like this rook on a8 is just completely hanging. <laughs> so like, this is, this is not good. Um, so the other idea before I saw that was like, oh, maybe I just play like queen g8, try and trade yeah. everything off. But no, you just lose the rook. Not good. Um, and same idea, like after queen e5, it's like, well, there's not real compensation. You're down in exchange, like, there's, there's nothing to go, not no reason to go into this for black. Mm -hmm. And then a viewer suggested uh, the move knight c6. And I was like, 
that looks crazy. What are you talking about? And then I was like, oh, I think the point is after bishop takes, you know, uh, king takes and rook takes, knight takes, we're, yeah, we're, we're, we have some material inequality, but it's really more of an imbalance queen for the uh, rook and, and bishop, right? And this is where it's like, okay, well, who's actually even better? We were looking at all sorts of geometry with check. Well, knight f5. Check. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Uh, the, the, the knight's pinned. You want to pin it to win it. G4. Well, knight covers, but then there's another check. But somehow, the knights are just doing an amazing job holding everything together. In this position, I actually like more for black. So then I was like, okay, this line, not so worried. If, if, if that's the best line for white, then... I would say it's probably better for black, uh, marginally, like minus one-ish or two. Uh, but white doesn't have to go for this, right? They have yeah. other options. Uh, yeah. The other option being, well, we did just put our knight on a completely undefended square. <laughs> like, uh, they, they could just take this, and then queen would take here. There's no more discoveries mm -hmm. this way. So at this point, we're actually threatening to win the rook on a1. You gotta connect the rooks. This square doesn't work. This square doesn't work. Uh, this square doesn't work because of this. So you play bishop e3. And sure, like, black's gonna lose the b pawn, but hey, they're up a pawn right now. So really, material's gonna be pretty much when the dust settles even. And it's gonna be who is actually um, better. And I think that in this position, like, we were thinking, like, rook f to c8 or rook f to d8. And. Uh, I was thinking, okay, this looks a little bit scary. The, the, the bishop on d3 is a little loose. Well, we just go back to e2 and everything's safe. Like, no yeah. one's really controlling the d-file, but at the end of the day, white has the two bishops. So it's a little bit better uh, in that sense because they are putting a lot of pressure on the, uh, you know, the, this diagonal. And like I said, who cares about the pawn? Like, it's going to be won back eventually. Um, so, all that said... <laughs> You're going good direction, actually. You said, I think, every, uh, 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 everything. Oh, I have to I have to tell you something to give you a little bit, you know, release the stress. Whatever you say, it will be not so big margin as I had. So I said 20 and it was 9. So I think <laughs> you already won this one. <laughs> true, true. That's fair. That's fair. And I think that, um, yeah, I, I think there's lines where black can be better despite the, the material inequality. But in, in this line, which I think is closer to optimal, I think we wanted to go zero zeros and and finally go zero dot zero zero. Okay, okay, you you won this one. You won this one. Um, the thing <laughs> is that um, uh, this is the game from of of, uh, of our viewer. Uh, he just uh, copied and sent and said that at this point when the opponent played rook to d1, he saw all this uh, threats. This is also rookie. I didn't see this rookie was hanging at the bean. I was like, if what happens if queen goes here? Like, why this is losing? <laughs> and, and then I saw this rook too. Uh, but the thing is, here at this point, all these moves are very bad uh, for for black. And he was about to resign here, and then he found this move. Knight c6 is a correct move here. Uh, and the line is that white has to go. Otherwise, like a lot of pieces are hanging. Pawn is gone already from d4. And white has to go to this line here, um, and as you said, uh, there is like these knights are guarding each other. Let me see here the evaluation. Okay, yeah, let's see the evaluation here. You won anyway. Wow, this is still better. Can yeah. you can you check after king takes h7? Is that better for black? Instead of the the knight. No, oh, no. the thing is, uh, the thing here is um, when we have so basically we have knight and the rook for a queen, right? It's not even mm -hmm. pawns. So if yeah. if we have two pieces and the rook versus queen, this is completely winning. But right. when is a uh, knight and the rook versus queen and a lot of pieces, it's still the queen is superior there slightly not too right. much but slightly thanks for the follow and this one is the only line that like can survive other otherwise all the other lines were like really bad um and this one here um for in a practical game in a practical game i think it's still a chance to play uh but if you play the most accurate most like computer it's 
hard to survive against the queen. I don't know how the game probably like won here, but uh, you guessed it right. When you said here these knights are guarding, I was like, no, 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 don't give an ever like advantage. The thing is like um, this can be like if you have this position. And you are with black, you should play for a draw here. You should not play for a win, mm -hmm. unless there's a right. blunder. Right. Right. So it's a queen still, and you have a good compensation for queen. You sacrifice the queen to have a good compensation. So you are not winning here. And that's the right. that's the main point point. Alright. Wait, so wait, what was the what was the evaluation of the actual position after rook d1? Let me let me put that. Okay. Plus one point six. Plus yeah. Of minus. Yeah. <laughs> you know? As I told you, evil people here. Sorry with Hornets. The, the, these were fantastically picked positions. I really enjoyed like going through it and everything. Yeah, it was lovely, lovely to to do this collab with you and chat with you. Yeah. Um, and best of the luck of what you're doing. You're doing it great, and <laughs> yeah, you will, you will. <laughs> You will do more and more. So these people who who write hate hate comments, <laughs> they tell them not to waste time. <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate it a lot, and uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like I learned a lot from you uh, just now today. But even I feel like uh, just from like watching your commentary and your content, like you kind of pick up inspiration from people that you enjoy watching and. Uh, yeah. So I, I appreciate uh, everything you do as well, and you're obviously thank doing you. an amazing job. So keep it up. Oh, well. thank you. See you, see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye.